surya. Now I am seeing his rotator cuff. Here, if you see anatomically, the rotator cuff starts from above the spine of the scapula. It arises on the supraspinous fossa, comes under the surface of the acromion and inserts onto the humerus. Now, in order to bring the supraspinatus to our vision, we use a, a position known as the modified crass position. Now the acromion is here, but you have tilted your scapula in such a way that the supraspinate is in front. Now, as I place, I have as I place my probe on the long axis of the supraspinatus. As I place it, I should be able to see a very, yeah. Now if you can shift on to the screen. So now this is, this is a perfect example of how the supraspinatus has to look. This is the supraspinatus footprint. Now I am going through the entire length of the supraspinatus. Okay, if you can see, it is a very, it is a very nice structure. There is no, uh, the black thing you see in the front is normal anatomy. This is a completely intact supraspinatus going from top to bottom. He is a post-op patient on whom I am checking if there are any tears or anything, but there seems to be no tears. Checking the whole thing. Now checking the uh, short axis of, of, of the supraspinatus. Ah, now this is the short axis of the supraspinatus. I can see that there are no tears. Yeah, it looks good. So as you can see, this is the humeral head, this is the rotator cuff, this is the uh, bursa, this is the deltoid, this is the fat, this is the skin. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Anmanchuri. You look very good. Fantastic. Positive.